above Napsha Bazaar in Nepal at 3,400 metres. We're at this amazing viewpoint. It is so serene and peaceful. And behind us is Mount Everest at 8,848 metres. It is uh, a little hazy this morning, but you know, we're so fortunate because the weather is, the sky is clear. Some people come up here and it can be just totally white out. And we're heading up this valley tomorrow to Tiang Bache, the monastery. We are all doing very well. Yesterday was a long day, but everybody managed it. And we're looking forward now to, um, to tomorrow's walk. And today we're just going to rest, wander around Namche. It's a beautiful trading village. They have lots of different um, shops and bakeries where you can have a cappuccino of all things and an apple pie and so we're really looking forward to that and even a massage so I think some of us gonna going to head there and so that we're all ready for tomorrow so it's it's a great day and we're really really blessed so we'll just show you now some of the other scenery here around the surrounding mountains it's just absolutely stunning it's a little bit clearer on this side there's some beautiful uh, horses here, some ponies. This is, this an is army a beautiful statue of Tenzing Norgi, the first man to summit Mount Everest with Sir Edmund Hillary. It's a, it's a tribute to this man, this strong Sherpa. And just look at the scenery here. It is just stunning. Horses down here. we go. It's beautiful, it's beautiful scenery and it's so quiet and peaceful. You know there's there's a lot of tourists coming up yesterday but where are they this morning? I mean we are so lucky just to be able to experience this. There's probably a handful of people and that's it. Third lake that we've come to and the biggest lake in Gokyo and behind us is Gokyo Ri. We've come up from Machumo today. It's taken us about four hours. Yesterday uh, we went to a high altitude talk in Machumo run by two British or British doctors and it was very very informative. I recommend that anybody coming to the Gokyo area go to the talk on high altitude medicine. We are going to climb Gokyo Ri tomorrow. It's uh, up over 5,400 meters and Gokyo itself is 4,800 meters. Everybody's doing extremely well. Um, exhausted of course. There have been some long days and uh, the weather today is a little bit windy but we've had really blue sky, perfect weather and we're hoping that we'll have the same tomorrow. We'll leave at about 4 o'clock in the morning. It'll probably take us uh, maybe between four and five, six hours return, depending on um, on how uh, how we're feeling, and then uh, we'll come down and uh, then we'll head back down the mountain. So the gods are with us. We'll have good weather, and everybody will stay well. Here we are at the top of Gokyo Re, situated 5,346 meters. This morning we left at. Uh, five o'clock this morning from the village down here below at Gokyo at 4,800 meters so we climbed up over 600 meters this morning it's taken us uh, two and a half two and a half to three hours which is pretty good going it was tough but we made it and here look at this fantastic view of Everest how good is this Everest Nazi Lotsi and all the surrounding Himalayan mountains. You cannot get a better view of Everest than anywhere else but Gokyo Ri. It's one of my favorite places. You've got the lakes down here. We've got the three lakes at the bottom here, the largest one being below us. And situated behind us are all the other Himalayan giants. The group have done amazingly well this morning. I had, I knew that they would, we would all make it to the top, and we did it. How are you feeling, everybody? 
Great. <laughs> Christine. Yeah. Sandy. Great. <laughs> Sally. Yep. Great. Yeah. Christine. Yes. Oh, really good. It. Thank you. <sighs> See you at the summit. Well done, girl. <laughs> this trip. Um, we couldn't have done it without the support of the Nepalese staff. You know, they're, they're just brilliant. Our guide, TB, um, our porters, Michung and Tenzing, so strong. You know, they go up and down these mountains day after day after day. But they're relentless and they're, they're always happy and they're, they're a pleasure to help you out. Well, here we are. We're just sitting now at a beautiful um, coffee shop and bakery in facting enjoying a lovely uh, cappuccino cinnamon roll uh, today the weather is absolutely stunning and uh, we're walking to Lukla this morning which will probably take us about two and a half to three hours it's a steady climb up but uh, considering to where we've been the last uh, two weeks I think it will be relatively easy for all of us we um we're on our last day and we're heading to Kathmandu tomorrow so if the gods are with us the weather will be perfect the scenery on the way has been absolutely stunning and the mountains they've just shown their best to us we've seen everest um, at her best and in in clear blue sky beautiful prayer flags here behind us waving in the breeze and um, everybody in the group was strong, strong group of ladies and we're all determined to get to the top of Gokyori without any, any major problems and everybody stayed well and healthy throughout the trip and maybe you'd like to have a, a few words of, about your trip, Sandy? It's been a wonderful trip. I'm very pleased about what I've been able to accomplish through the support of uh, new friends. And I want to thank you, Lynn. Uh, Christine. My, I'm just in awe of the, the wonder of uh, snow-capped mountains and the height and um, days that are, for me, were absolutely hard some days on my legs. Uh, but I'm really, really pleased that I kept on going and push myself um, and just amazed at my strength. Uh, thanks to the ladies for uh, being great company and thanks to Lynn. Yeah, okay, it's been um, my third trip to Nepal and another fantastic one. I pushed myself to the absolute limits. Um, climbing to Gokhuri was pretty tough, um, but we've all made it and we all feel very proud of ourselves and stronger for doing it. And um, yeah, thanks to Lynn for leading us. and. Yeah, another wonderful trip to Nepal. Thank you. So, if you're thinking of coming to Nepal uh, on, on a trip, you know, think about it seriously because it's a, achievable by any anybody um, with an average level of fitness, and you've got the determination that, that if you really want to do something, you're able to do it and to achieve your goals and step out of your boundaries, and especially with the support of a, of a beautiful group of women. So see you on my next trip with Lynn Taylor's Adventure Travel.